Hi, this is Rachel Scarlett from rachelscarlett.com. I'm a quiet horror author and blogger, and today I want to show you how to use Notion as a writer. So in this video, we're just going to be going over the basics of Notion and how you can use it as a writer, and then there will be some more specific videos later on in this series on how to use it for more specific things. So right now we're going to go on the overview of the structure of Notion. So Notion is a lot of things. I use it for many different reasons from planning to taking notes and to obviously using it as a writer. Um, so it, it combines a lot of different programs like Trello, Evernote, Google Docs, and you can also integrate it with um, applications like Slack, and they also have a web, web clipper as well now. So, <clears throat> Notion consists of pages. So, my main page, as we look over here on the left, is home, and underneath it, I have several other pages, and in those pages are more pages. So, the page we're looking at right now is in the notes I have for this video, and so you can do a lot of different things <clears throat> in Notion. And um, they consist of blocks. So wh what are blocks exactly? Blocks are can be a lot of things. So like for right now, here are three individual blocks um, that consist of bullet points. And so you can move them around. You can, I mean, you can structure them any way you want. But that is only one of the blocks. There are actually um, many different types of blocks. So you can either click um, this plus sign to add a block, or you can just press space and that, and you can get the command center up. So you can add another page here, a to-do list, a header, a subheader, a bullet list, numbered list, toggle list, quote, divider. You can link another page. Uh, another way you can do that is also using the at symbol. Um, you can mention people, you can add a date or reminder. Um, they also have databases you can use. So this is how it's similar to Trello and you can add a board. Let's take this for example. You can add it either inline or you can create another page where it's just a table, table um, or a board, excuse me. Um, and so there is quite a bit more. Um, gallery, table, list, calendar, um, or you can add full pages here. You can also add images, web bookmarks, videos, audio, code, file. And then later on, we're going to get into um, embedding. Um, I mean, there's lots of different options that you can use. So customization. So you, for every page you have, you can select an emoji icon, or you can even upload your own or link to one, or you can have none as well. But that's one way you can customize it and see so you can see them here. You can also change the cover. They have a gallery of images to choose from, or you can upload or link your own. This is also the title of the page right here. You can't really customize that at all except for making the text smaller via that. Um, so if we press this button here, you can, first of all, if you press T, you can actually turn it into something else here. So I could turn it into a page or I could turn it into a header and see that changes it. Um, you can also undo it if you want to. Um, you can change the color by pressing that and C. And so you can turn it to blue you can change the background. You can't have both at once, but I think that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, and then obviously the structure, you can change the structure however you want to do it. Um, you just grab onto that to move things. So obviously lots and lots of different ways you can customize it to your wants and needs. Um, so that's the basics of how to use Notion. Now let's go on to actually the overview of using it as a writer. So for me, for my pen name, Rachel Scarlett, I actually have this author dashboard. Um, so here's a quick overview of it. 
So um, I have my brand core and all these different pages. Um, and I obviously have it by general, my writing projects, and then publishing. Um, not all of these have stuff filled in them yet, but um, one I refer to a lot is my writing processes, um, my from uh, the page for my blog, and um, these two as well. And obviously my current series I'm working on. So you can keep a lot of different things in here. So I keep all the color codes for my brand and the images. My writing processes, which I will be going into into another video. Um, so I have all my writing processes here. So the checklist I do whenever I'm plotting. And this is the breadcrumbs up here, by the way. Have I keep my digital writer's notebook, which um, will be in one of the next videos that I do. I will be going over that. And then, um, so yeah, this is the overview. Um, okay, next, um, creating an area for backup files. So you saw in the bed that you can actually embed um, files in here. So I'm fairly new to the Neocean and I haven't been writing a project currently, so I don't have anything in here yet but just click the default page and then in the embed section, you can embed a PDF or um, as we'll talk about later, you can embed something to Google um, from Google Drive or you can still um, upload a file. So you can keep all your files safe away. Okay. Um, the next thing is you can actually add Notion to your Scrivener. So if you have Scrivener, I'll go down here, see this is one of my current writing projects and you can actually view it here and it's all synced and live and everything so let's say I add a Z to this well if we go if we go over here the Z's already been added and you can erase it there and it'll be gone there vice versa so um and really you only need to add this once and um, how you can add it is you can click there and then click import web page and you just add the link and it's that easy and you have to sign in. Um, but that is it. Otherwise, I mean, I can even go to my checklist and stuff like that. Okay. So there's also, I mean, several other options. So for one, um, which I don't currently use this, but this would be a great idea for um, someone who currently uses Google Docs or someone who is co-writing a book. So you can actually embed with Google Docs. All you gotta do is go to the embed with Google Drive and get the link and that is it. And so you can write here and as we can see, it'll be put right there. Another thing is collaboration. So if you want to collaborate on a project in Notion, you can actually share it via the share button. And other ideas that I don't currently use is keeping track of income. I mean, there is, you can go so many places with using Notion. And so that is the end of this current tutorial. Um, the next videos I will be going over um, my writer's notebook, so I will be showing you my physical and digital writer's notebook, um, my physical and digital uh, story bible, and then my, um, I'll give you guys a sneak peek here, of the writer's project template. So for each project you have, you'll be having a template. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you want to use Notion, it's www.notion.so. So thank you.